Hi guys, it's Bossman here from Brown Badge Airsoft. Uh, welcome to the channel and welcome to our first ever tech video. So recently I fitted a uh, Perrin V2 Hybrid MOSFET into my own personal Evolution 416. Um, loving the features, uh, loving it so much that uh, one of my team members decided he wanted a Perrin V2 Hybrid fitted in his Arcturus HK416, or as Arcturus call it, the GR16 Mod 5. So, as you can see, um, I've already got the gearbox disassembled here. Um, upon uh, disassembling the gearbox, I found out that uh, the gearbox itself had a micro switch trigger. Okay. The problem this causes with the parent is we have no window here for the selector plate to slide across where the sticker goes for the sensors on the MOSFET to pick up. So two options were to use a secondary gearbox with a window cut out. The problem I noticed there that Arcturus have a proprietary gearbox. By this I mean as you can see on the back of the gearbox is there, Arcturus have cut theirs away so it fits into their lower receiver. So the thoughts were, can I cut away some of this? Probably, but would it damage the integrity of the gearbox? Probably yes. So we forgot that option. So we're going to go with option B. And I'm going to grind a window out here and grind away this so the pair of MOSFET fits flat. Let's get to grinding. Okay, so grounding complete. Grounded off this uh, lump that was in there. As you can see now, the pair of MOSFET fits nice and flat. I turn it over. Hopefully, you can see on the back there a nice window now, and we can see the sensors of the MOSFET. Um, I've already installed the MOSFET and run the wires through the trenches. Uh, I've also installed the magnet onto the trigger. We shall put that into the gearbox. sits nicely there. Um, I've already installed the sticker that comes with the kit. Um, looks slightly odd but if you reference it to a standard M4 it's in the right place. Um, what we've got to do now <coughs> is install the sector gear and make sure that does not rub on the MOSFET. Nice clearance. Okay, so now we'll test the unit and see if it works. So let's put the gearbox back together. Okay, so we've got the gearbox back in the lower receiver. Metal connectors out of the way. Unit on safe. Let's plug in the connector battery. Units flashing, blue light, followed by pink and yellow. Units ready, it's on semi. Red light, full auto. Test the trigger, purple light. Purple light. Check the gear, green, green. Trigger, purple. Gear, green, white light, safe. Okay, back on safe, disconnect battery, gearbox out, put the gears back together, put all the parts back in, piston, and reassemble.
Okay, so that's everything put back in. Uh, let's give it a quick test. Super. Right, I'll uh, redo this out of video. Um, okay, yes, I had some issues. Um, was it a challenge? Yes, it was. Would I do it again? Probably. Um, I've set it up with a little bit of pre cocking. Um, active brakes already set to three as standard, and I've adjusted the trigger sensor. Um, the rest of it. Uh, I will leave for team member Dimsung to put whatever he wants, whether it be the binary trigger, the uh, two-stage trigger. Um, we'll go from there. Um, I hope you got something out of this video. Um, please uh, like this video, uh, subscribe to our channel. Um, please comment below if there's anything that you'd like us to try and do tech-wise. Um, and we'll see if we can oblige. Uh, many thanks for watching. Uh, this is Boss Man signing out. Brown badge out.